welcome to another award-winning edition of The Blitz. I'm Brian North, and boy, we've got a fun-filled show for you on this Labor Day filled with rivalry games everywhere you look. We're going to start with our Blitz Premier matchup, a big Carteret County showdown between undefeated East Carteret and Croatan, who uh, they played this one in Broad Creek. East Carteret was up 7-0 second half, but here come those Cougs. Liam Harding's going to come up with the sack. The Cougs getting momentum. They would score to cut the lead to 7-6. Andrew Gurley says, keep it going. Let's keep it going. They got the ball back with about eight minutes to go in the game. Braden Stevens on a big fourth down. Braden the bulldozer. Gets that first down and keeps the drive alive. Then Braden the beast breaking more tackles down to the goal line. Then Braden the beauty gives Croatan the first lead of the game with five minutes to go. It was 12 to seven. Old John Humphrey, the helicopter now, an assistant basketball coach at Croatan, all smiles with his team up. Then the squib kick, East Carteret trying to get the ball back and go down and score. They lost the fumble, so B.J. Frazier hoping his defense could hold. They could not. Brady Stevens bombs his way in again for the 18-7 win. Croatan gets bragging rights with their second win in a row and beating their neighbors from the other side of the county. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, we've been preaching that, you know, all week, you know, we're going to face some adversity. You know, you do that every, every single game, you're going to see some sort of adversity. I love how our guys fought tonight. We battled for 48 minutes and uh, it paid off. I mean, we've been preaching that in practice. Finally is showing up on Friday nights. That's what you want as a coach. So B.J. Frazier and company back to the drawing board for them. Croatan, boy, tough test next week. They go on the road to face their old buddies from East Duplin. That's always a fun matchup. West Carteret hit the road to Western Pitt County to take on Farmville Central. The Patriots trying to rebound from that tough loss to Havelock. Havelock with a bye week, by the way, this week. And here come those Patriots uh, on the kickoff. Uh, down the field we go. And uh, the Jaguars getting the ball first. Uh, trying to get something going, and they would. The nice run uh, by Peyton Kessler and company. Actually, that's Alex Moy with the early touchdown, but Farmville would have trouble holding on after that. Wes Carteret would go right to work. <clears throat> Their sophomore quarterback slinging it around, finding his super senior, Brian Garner, for that first down, and then... How about one more time for the sophomore QB, throwing it up, intercepted, but West Carteret would end up getting the win in this one. They beat Farmville Central 24-7. In Lenore County, Kinston hosted Aiden Grifton. They've had some memorable games through the years. Kinston trying to rebound from that loss they suffered last week at Green Central and looked pretty good early on as they would throw the touchdown. That's it to number 16, Jameer Flowers. Uh, Flowers blooming in the end zone, looking pretty good. Kinston would go on to get the victory over Aiden Grifton, 38-14. to AG trying to throw it around a little bit. Boy, completing it there and getting the touchdown. As uh, they are, Todd Leip trying to get them going. And then how about one more time on the ground, but not enough. Kinston gets the 38-14 to win over Aiden Grifton. Big rivalry game in Craven County as Wes Craven made the trip to Newburgh to take on the undefeated Bears. Newburn, uh, the Eagles had a little shorthanded because they had several players ejected from last week's fracas with South Central. Good crowd at Caruso Coach Stadium. They needed to get there early. First play of the game. That's Aaron Heron. Showing why he has a scholarship offer from ECU going 62 yards. Herring, what a game. Eight carries, 182 yard, two TDs. That's Tuffy, NC State's live mascot from Craven County. More about Tuffy coming up a little bit later in our Blitz Cam. But check this out. Uh, the cameraman getting fooled because Newber never passes the ball, but Will Brimmer getting the TD pass and taking it in for them touchdown as Demary Tucker had a good game throwing the ball, but Will got to work on his uh, celebration. Yeah, even Jennifer agrees. That was kind of ugly, wasn't it? Well, this was pretty if you're a Newburn fan. That is Emmanuel Johnson scoring for the 20-7 lead. Mike Twitchell still coaching them up despite being shorthanded. Has a really good JV team. Well, that didn't help them tonight as Brad Hopkinson and company won 53 to nothing to improve to 3-0 on the year. Undefeated D.H. Conley back home at the Hollywood Crossroads tonight to host unbeaten Cleveland. The Rams ranked 16th in the state. Nate Connor and company gave them everything they wanted tonight, but just came up a little short at the end. Who are we going to go to? Well, of course, it's going to be a big hit uh, there, but D.H. Conley trying to move with Kwasmiki Cratch the catch and the Conley crazies in full effect. Trying to find ways uh, to score. And you're always going to be looking for Isaiah Crumpler, the junior, doing his best and getting in the end zone several more times. This was back and forth. 
Conley could never quite get over the hump despite Crumpler another amazing game. Cleveland gets the win over D.H. Conley 34 to 23. Their dual threat quarterback getting it done on the ground and in the air. South Central looking to get new head coach Kendrick Parker his first win as a Falcon. They flew to Washington to take on a Pan Pack team coming off its first loss of the season. Another good crowd at Choppy Wagner Stadium. South Central had the lead in this one thanks to their passing game. Check out the beautiful catch. But Washington would come back in the second half with that running game as they continue to try to try to be diversified. But running is going to be what gets them to uh, win this year. Chris Carter getting the job done. Washington gets off the schneid. They win 12-7 over at South Central. Let's stay in Beaufort County, undefeated Southside. They hosted South Creek. Southsiders coming off that big win over Washington County. Uh, they would get quite the test from South Creek. But in the end, it would be... Taquan Moore and company getting the victory. Southside gets the win 33-8 to, to stay undefeated. They're now 3-0 on the year. Just up the road in Martin County, Beargrass Charter hosting Spring Creek. And those Beargrass Bears, Terry Perry and company, looking to go right at them. Boy, they did. Branson Ross, number one, coming right up the guts like the Red Sea parted for him. And that would get him down inside the five-yard line. And then that would lead to the touchdown by Braden Taylor. Beargrass gets the win. 28 to 6. They rebound from that uh, loss they had last week against Parrot. We've got plenty of more shy, uh, highlights to show you. Plenty of more highlights to show you. But first, it's our Miller Mott college fans in the stands. Let's go back to Croatan, where the Croatan Crazies were in full effect cheering on their team to that big rivalry win over East Carteret. More highlights are coming up on the Blitz. <laughs> 